offensive tackle. I heard wide receiver. I heard linebacker, maybe even corner. Mike Mayock, that's four separate positions. You only get one pick. Which direction would you like to see Buffalo go at 10? Paul, if you're looking at offense, my concern with Riley Reed is though I like him and I know he's an NFL starter. At number 10, let's not take the jump that he's a prototypical pass-blocking left tackle from day one. I don't think he's ready to protect the blind side. I see him at right tackle, ultimately moving to left tackle maybe two years down the road. If you want to stay on offense, I think Michael Floyd's your guy. If you go over to defense, I really like the two names that Charles brought up. Luke Keekley could play all three linebacker positions. Keep in mind, they're going to go to a 4-3 with Dave Wanstatt. He can play all three of those. And the guy I really like after Keekley is Stephon Gilmore. To me, he's the number two corner off the board. They've got Terrence McGee, Drayton Florence. I think he steps in day one and upgrades their corner position. You're one of the few people that has him rated ahead of Dre Kirkpatrick. Uh, what exactly uh, makes you believe that? 40 consecutive starts since the day he got on campus in the SEC. He's a high school quarterback that understands the game. He ran 4-4, and let's make no mistake about it, Paul, six-foot corners with long arms and good ball skills that have no durability issues. To me, the only reason other people don't have him that high is they don't know that much about him because he's a junior. Mike Mayer, thank you very much. And looking ahead to later on Path to the Draft,